Yes, what's going on? It's Nitty Nass and welcome. In this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at an overall class setup, trying to run those high end score streaks using an SMG. What we're going to be talking about is the choice of weapon, the attachments, the perks, also the specialists, and the reason that we're actually running these particular score streaks. So, as you can see, guys, we are going to be using the VMP in this particular gameplay. This is one of the best SMGs in the game. It's up there with the Cuda and also the Pharaoh. I have done other class setups on this particular weapon, so make sure you guys you go and check that out, especially in the style of class setup. That one works exceptionally well so let's just jump into this particular one now the attachments that i've actually got on is quick draw once again we want to be trying to get this weapon up as fast as we possibly can because we're going to be playing aggressive we're getting up into those enemy spawns and things like that then we're going to be moving on to stock as well as i explained before we definitely be needing that especially when you get into those medium to long range gun battles people like to be using those uh, hvk and also the kn44 and in regards to that we'll be able to strafe it out of fire and give us a better chance then of down and our enemy then we're going to be moving on to grip as well now especially with this particular weapon because it's got a higher fire rate with the actual grip this is going to try and keep that under control because it has got a little bit of recoil with it so we definitely want to be holding that bayout down and be able to down those enemies very very easily then we're going to be moving on to extended mags now like i said with the um, higher fire rate on this particular gun because we do have that we're going to be rinsing through these bullets quite quickly and because we want to be playing quite aggressive maybe getting up into the enemy spawn and things like that if we come across two or three enemies the last thing we want to be doing going for those high-end score streaks is having to worry about reloading so for me personally you definitely want to be sticking on extended mags now moving into the actual perks that we're going to be going for now we're going to be running with ghosts now this is so that we can actually flank around because as you're seeing right now we're up into the enemy spawn i do not want them to know exactly where i am if I do hear there's UAV up in the end, I'm going to try and be a little bit more mobile. Try and strafe around a little bit here and there. Just try and keep off the mini-map as much as I can. I know I'm not running suppressor. But as soon as I shoot people, I'm going to be on the move, get out of there, straight on to somewhere else straight away. So they ain't going to know where I am. Fast hands, obviously, then for perk number two, this is going to complement the quick draw very, very easily. Then we're going to be moving into perk three. Now that is dead silence, especially when we're playing up into the enemy spawn like now. The last thing I want them to do is actually hear my footsteps, and I certainly don't want to be here on my own. I want to be concentrating on exactly where they are. So this is going to be the best chance to actually achieve this. Now with the score streaks in general, as you can see, we've got the wraiths. So once we get up into the enemy spawn, we can actually let the Wraith do the whole work. So, you know, we can let them shoot it down, especially if you're playing kill confirmed. As soon as that um, Wraith starts killing people, let your teammates maybe pick up the tags if they're out in the open. You're always going to be gaining points straight away. And as soon as then you get onto your HATR, this is obviously going to get you loads of assists. So there's no need to get stupid. You don't need to go crazily just running out into open areas, worrying about getting picked off. You can keep it a little bit tight. Let all those points just rank up, and then straight away, as you can see, you get your mothership. Now, with the mothership, this is the first time I've got to be honest with you that I've actually ever stuck it on. I've never really bothered with things like this. Now, mainly to the due fact is that once you get up there, because you have to control it, I'm not boots on the ground shooting people anymore. I find a lot of the time that people can actually hide indoors. So it is a bit of fun to actually use, and I did have a bit of fun using it. It is a bit of an annoyance, especially with the black cell, because everybody seems to be running it. But this is how I would suggest that you go about trying to get all the way up to the mothership if you kind of like these kind of squirrel streaks straight away. The VMP, like I say, is absolutely exceptional. With this kind of clan setup, you're going to run through it in absolutely no time. Now, in regards to the actual specialist that I'm using is obviously um, Seraph and the Annihilator. Now, what I would like to be able to do is if the spawns flip, I can switch to Annihilate and then straight away that is a nice long range weapon and if I get caught out into those kind of instances then I can switch to my specialist, down those enemies very very easily then get back into doors or anything else like that and then just go straight back way back on a bit of a tear. But for me this is the best way to do it, you don't have to just be playing kill confirm, this can work on domination or anything else like that but it does work spectacularly well on kill confirmed I've got to admit. But anyway guys coming up on my screen now is going to be the actual class setup for you guys. So maybe Make sure you pause it and stick this in your creator class. Give it a couple of goes. I'm going to promise you now, straight away, you're going to be running through those high-end score streaks in absolutely no time because it does work exceptionally well. But now coming up on my screen is going to be my subscribe button. Make sure you jump in on that for me, please, guys. And make sure you drop a like on this video and support my channel. This is going to be nearly last and I'll catch you later.